Well, hello there. It's Pastor Tim, and I, I'm a little bit late on my usual Thursday, so it's Friday uh, video, but I'm so glad that you could join me today. Um, if you don't or do recognize those um, lyrics from Pat Upton and um, the staircase, the spiral staircase, right? It comes from a song, uh, More Today Than Tomorrow. Right? And the old song, or the lyrics are, you know, uh, I love you more today, but not more than tomorrow, right? You know, and I can't change that. And I think that that's an amazing kind of experience because sometimes we uh, fall in love with things and not people, um, and we kind of lose that sense of being. And that, however, is exactly what Jesus is describing, or Paul's describing in his letter today, or from last Friday, um, about grace, this sense of God falling deeper and deeper in love with all of us. So last week on Friday, I meant to send this um, out, but I didn't get a chance. I had done a Thursday video, and um, this was really on my heart. And so this is the first letter of Paul to the Ephesians, right? I'm sorry, this is the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. You know, kind of a little discombobulated, I guess, today. And it's chapter 2, and it's verses 19 to 22. And it says, brothers, and, it reads this way, brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the holy ones and members of the house of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. So he, inv he invites the, the people, the saints, the, the, the congregation, if you will, uh, of Ephesus into this relationship. And it's not one that is... Uh, separate. It's not one where there's space in between. Now, this is a full-on relationship talking about being in love with somebody else, inviting them into a deep, rich, meaningful relationship, a time together, a way to praise God by being in love with one another. And I wonder if we have those moments where we, have, we talk about the things we do and don't love and who we do and don't love more. Um, but there's times where I feel as if um, there are things that we love that kind of get in the way of um, our relationship with others. I mean, we say that we love uh, sports, you know, oh my gosh, I love football, or, I, you know, I always say, I love White Castle hamburgers, and all these things on and on and on. Um, and what Paul's trying to describe in his letter to, to the Ephesians is that um, God loves you more than anything. And we're invited to not only love God more than anything, but each other. And so he continues on with this. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. This, to me, describes the unending love that God has for each and every one of us. It's not as if we have to do something to get God's love. We get God's love because God loves us so very much. And it's this back and forth relationship that the deep of me, um, or as uh, Thomas Merton would describe, the, the, the point verge, that, that center of the soul that is where God um, lives within us, right? It drops in that first breath to Adam that we all maintain. Uh, loves back to its source, which is the creator of the universe, the world, the um, unending sense of being, the eternal. And that is exactly what we are called to do for one another, with one another, by one another. We are called to love one another um, because... Um, it's, it's kind of imprinted in our DNA. It's imprinted in this relationship that um, we see um, ourselves and other people. And if we have self-love, and that is a really a very important, then we can find it in our hearts to love other people, to see that we are all individual children of God. And by being individual children of God, we can love each other. And when we take off our masks and we take down all of the armor and the facade by which keeps us from each other, we can have this incredible sense of seeing um, that which is ourselves, that which we are one with, that by which we can fall deeply head over heels in love with this day. And I was thinking about, you know, these lyrics. Um, I don't remember what day it was. I didn't notice what time it was. All I know is that I fell in love with you. And we feel that way about 
people. And we are called to do that. And we are called to feel that way about Jesus Christ. We don't sometimes know the date or the time. And sometimes it's over a long period of time. But ultimately, it's this sense that we fall deeper and deeper in love with God. And so um, Upton continues, he says, every day is a new day in love with you. And that's the experience that we get from grace, right? That's with God, right? We, we, we find that we fall deeper and deeper in love with Christ um, as we recognize God's love for us. We fall deeper and deeper in love with Christ as the Spirit moves within us to see God's grace, to see God's mercy, to see God's forgiveness for each and every one of us. And that restores our heart, it restores our hope, it, re it, it is regenerative, right? And that is, you know, I think that might be a Wesleyan word to be regenerated, renewed, restored in this relationship. And when we find that we are restored in a relationship, we fall deeper and deeper into love. And so Upton continues, right? Um, if all my dreams come true, I'll be spending time with you. And this is really um, kind of an example, I think, if you will, of prayer. And the more time we, we find ourselves in prayer, the more we find ourselves with God, the closer that relationship is, the more um, outpouring and expressing there is for love with us and in us and eventually for God. Right? And that is how we treat other people. With great respect and dignity, we restore their humanity by allowing Christ to be in us, right? It's Paul who says, I live not I, but Christ who lives in me. That is exactly what we're kind of saying here. This, this sense that when Christ lives in me, um, I find Christ's love in me. I find the openness to appeal to other people, um, to their goodness, their wholeness, their holiness, their completeness by being my sibling in Christ. And I pray at this day that that's the experience that you have, this sense of being restored, that as you unfold in this life, you are put together with the love of God. We are put together in this unending desire to love each other and to love God. And so we do that by following Christ. We do that by praise uh, to the Father. And we do that by allowing the Holy Spirit to move in us, through us, and around us. And that, that is ultra important, I think, in our lives. During a time when I feel like the world is at odds with each, itself and each other, let us love each, each other and God more today than yesterday. But even today, not as much as we will tomorrow. That seems like a hard task, and it, it is challenging at times, because sometimes people are hard to love. And I remind you that um, in those times of peril and stress and distress, distress, that God loves you, and so do I. And go in peace this day, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.